Salutations everyone, my name is Foodcat, and welcome to Sleigh Bells. This is a brand new Christmas slasher game made by Blake McKinnon, who is the creator of Dead County, which I played just about a month ago? Time really does fly, but I have modded this. There's apparently a hobo, a prostitute, policeman, just this like profligate community, so I'm very eager to see what they look like in-game. Christmas Eve, and I'm still taking my clothes off in this horrible town for money. Hmm. Sigh. I better deliver Billy's Christmas present before it gets too late. I wonder if he even remembers what I look like. He hasn't seen me for months. Does he not, like, keep a photo of you? Not since he l went to live with his father. Why'd they have to take him from me? I miss my little Billy. You mean this little Billy? Alright, time to carry off. Toggle your flashlight on and off, yeah, I already figured that out. So, here's the peep show, which apparently I work at. And I'm in the back alleyways with firing trash cans, so this already gives me Night Ripper vibes, as if I'm in NYC all over again. The bad territory of it. Uh, there's one of the hobos apparently, which from what I've modded is me. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is horrendous. Why are you wearing your compression shorts in the middle of the snow? Even I don't stoop to that level. I could say he definitely works on those legs, though. I mean, that's a fun fact, too, because I do work legs most. Okay. Well, here's, uh, Mary Borrows. Mary Thickness is more like it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and carry off. There's another prostitute over here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <gasps> Your objectives are marked on the mini-map with yellow dots. Okay, I'm gonna try to get run over here. Well, here's where I need to be, in which this case I'm already here. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could just interact with myself. How hilarious would that be? Then again, I'm pretty taxiturned, so I doubt I would interact with myself anyway. So yeah. Not sure why I'm chilling at Billy's house. I guess I was waiting for more Billy memes. I'll just leave the present here. I doubt they'll want to see me right now. I better get home before it gets too late. I don't want to be out after midnight. Merry Christmas, Billy. Alright. Well, that's done. Kept it festive as possible. Hopefully nobody steals the present. I didn't see a cat texture, so I doubt there is a cat there. Okay, so here's the policeman. Yes, this is precisely like Night Ripper. It must have had an influence from it. I wonder what's going on up here. I won't be getting home this way, I guess. I'll have to go through the subway tunnel. It's not that much further. Alright, doggies. I'm out of here. Of course, they don't want to help me. All they want to tell me is, oh! I just realized, you can punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch the community here. Mary borrows. <laughs> Rockstar Ducky gets five punches because she's special. <laughs> and of course, me. Bad Alright, we found it. Subway, eat flesh. Obviously gonna be a rueful action to go down here, but... Hey. You always have to be stupid in these slasher games, huh? So, before I continue, I forgot one thing. The Santa hat. I paid 250 for this. If I forgot about it, I would never forgive myself. Alright, so there are some posters here. Tasty Burger. That's just the map. Hmm. This is one of his films, The Cat and Mouse Experiment by Blake McKinnon. Hot Sausage. Well, that just makes this even more foreboding. Alright, we're done. Am I dead here? He's been disemboweled. What sort of maniac would do such a thing? I better get out of here before whoever does this comes back. Well, fortunately for you, I have eight more lives, so you're fine. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and go this way then. I have nothing on me. Well, now I have something. A pistol with no bullets. Zilch. He's been killing policemen now? What a monster. 
Wow, you really don't have any bullets. Ho, ho, ho. What did you just call me? Well, it, it's no wonder you died. Jeez. Guess we'll check here then. Yeah, I hope he doesn't go in here. Hmm. Yep. Wow. Some policemen they are. There he goes. Oh, I thought he turned around over here. I got worried. What if I shoot that? Well, I don't have any bullets. What police officer comes out here without bullets? Well, I feel safe up here. Until now. You need a crowbar to open the door. It's jammed. What a misfortune. I guess we'll go ahead and do that then. It's going to be very risky to go back out there because we don't know where he's going to be turning next. Seems to be going in a loop. I'll go ahead and let my stamina generate. Alright, we're good to go. Don't see me, Sandy Claws. I'll turn this way. So I can't even use the gun to hit anyone? I mean, you can use the butt. Wait, where is this going to? Doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn back then. Oh wait, is that where I need to be? Yeah, I guess so. I went to the opposite direction to where I need to go. Wow, okay. Well, I tried to be as safe as possible, okay? E to interact with this. Okay, he's been cut up really bad. Worse than the others. If the lacerations didn't kill him, the blood loss would have. Wow, I really wish I could see their faces. That one could have looked like me. Has the hairstyle, too. I really wish I could get a haircut right now. My hair grew back fast, but that's because I need a lot of black rice. And I thought that was a candy cane. Well, we found the crowbar. I'm going back now. Oi! You are dead. Well, that sucked. <laughs> well, I know where to go straight away then. Alright, here we go again. Santa, you flagitious hypocrite. <laughs> it's like, what happened to that naughty list, huh? I guess it's against his moral principles nowadays. Dude, he's been evil for like two years now. Bloodthirsty Santa, now this? Wait, did I lose him? You know, losing all that body fat, I expected him to be a lot faster. Can I shut this music off? Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and open up that door. You know, at least it was better than that Mariah Carey song. That song is stuck in my head, like, the entire day. All I want for Christmas is you. Now I'm just, like, changing up the last word, saying, All I want for Christmas is Belle. Or, you know, Rockstar Doggy, you know, something absurd. It's very quiet all of a sudden. I wonder where everyone has gone. Who knows? They could have all been eradicated by that one Santa. Police doggies, are you there? Nope. You know, it'd be really interesting if there was a dead person inside one of the snowmen. I haven't checked all of them, but it would be an interesting touch to it, given that slasher vibe. Oh my gosh. How do I look? Well, I look pretty impassive for the most part. <laughs> well, I'll take the axe then. See what this does to him. Probably nothing. Well, I have to go this way. Oh, there's a crack on this. Ugh. Why did I have to keep locking this gate? I'm so close to getting home. It looks damaged. I might be able to break it down with something. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, so where do we have to go to next? Right here. Yellow dot. Eviction notice. An eviction notice? I'm only a few days late on my payment. They must have changed the lock too. My key won't work. I need to get out of here before Santa finds me. The only way out of here is along the train tracks. Yeah, th this feels like an extended Night Ripper game. Because you would have gone straight home, getting your roommate to help you, but... Apparently, we're going further from Moosing. Pretty flat train tracks. Which I'm happy about. I don't want to get run over. Alright, looks like we made it to another subway station? 
Huh. Are we going to be going back and forth? That's going to be no fun. Mavukuma! <laughs> we should have changed that poster, but it's too late now. And there's ammo over here. That looked like a lot, but too bad I don't have a pistol for it. There's a crowbar, but why does that matter? Oh, you have to have one. Thank you. Eight. Do you know how to count? This looks like the same box from the last. That looks like way more than eight. That's 18. Wow. I don't know how you miscount that bad. You miscounted again. Okay. We'll just, we'll have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, is this me? Oh no, this is a character I haven't modded. Hmm. I guess I had to like dig in further to the assets. Alright, let's see if there's any more because we're gonna need an ample amount just to take down Sandy Claws, right? He's the big boss. I don't know. Wait, what does that say? Garbage day. Oh, that's cute. We'll go ahead and move on out now. Don't think I see any more ammo. Alright. Gotta prepare myself for this. Or I'll just kill him here now. Oh gosh. Ah! <laughs> I screamed just like Sally. Oh. Oh gosh. This sucks. Woo! Okay. Oh no! I was so close! Man! This is fun. <laughs> this is a good boss fight. I actually enjoy this more than the Dead County one. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, since this is game logic, I have an idea. I'm gonna be jumping in the middle of the garbage day trash can. So I'm gonna throw in a couple of shots from here. Alright, I'm out. Gonna be running over here now, jumping onto the bench and then onto the trash can. We'll see how that works. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, this is too easy now. Oh, I, I missed. Come on, don't miss. It's a sensitivity. It's going a little too fast. You know what? I'll let him come after me. Bam. Wasn't that fun? Ho, ho, ho. You killed Santa. What, am I on his naughty list now, if he even has one? Merry Christmas. Hmm. Is there another ending? Like, could I go through his door? Like, what would the crowbar be needed for, huh? There has to be another ending to this, right? Alright, I just replayed this, and it doesn't seem like there's another ending to it. I tried going through that door that Santa came out of in the last part, but it wouldn't let me access it. Maybe I'm just benighted on some of the information and have to message Blick to see if there's another ending. So, otherwise, this pretty much concludes Sleigh Bells. I hope you all enjoyed. For starters, that is an excellent game title to add for a Christmas slasher game. And it's also the perfect typeface for it too. I'm not big on typefaces, so I don't know the name of it, but it really does fit and just shout Sleigh. And after playing through this twice, I can easily say that this is my favorite Blake McKinnon game. It reminds me a lot like Night Ripper, but in a more festive addition to it. And I like that there's not storytelling to it, it's just mostly dialogue that tells you the story. So that's what I enjoy about these games more than puppet combos. I can 100% say that this tops Bloodthirsty Santa. Night Ripper is still debatable. I think maybe there should be an options too, just in case people don't like the sensitivity of the game because it's a bit slow from the start, but fortunately I have a gaming mouse that so I was able to increase it. But that's just to help people who don't have those. And also, maybe, just some suggestions to throw out there, maybe no gore, game volume, just to add to the touch of the game options. But yeah, I'm done rambling on now, I'm starting to lose my voice, so I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of Sleigh Bells, and I'll see you all in the next playthrough. Stay awesome, kiddie saviors.